Hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's time for some more EU4. I'm your host, Galvin. Alright, so we're unfortunately in a coalition war. And it's pretty much going to be up to my allies. I am in rough shape right now. Now, on the plus side, Portugal is fully capable of joining in as well, uh, because I've sort of bridged this gap here. Uh, also, at some point, I need to remember to start annexing Galicia. Or am I already annexing in Galicia? Is that meter there? Oh, no, they're building things. Okay. Um, I mean, how long can we... Uh, how long is it going to be? 1488. Cool. In other news, we should probably try and assist friendly navies wherever they, uh, wherever they are. Alright. And try and run containment. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Why not, Austria? You seem like a pretty cool cat. You're not killing me. I mean, that's really all I can say. It doesn't, doesn't take much to get my approval. Oh, you're, you're not invading me? Well, all right. You got my approval. Jeez. All right. We'll cross river. Yeah, I don't think there's a way into Fife without frickin' crossing a river. Which really sucks. Alright, let's, uh, let's just march down to Irisher. And yes, I do read comments on Reddit. And yes, I will work on improving my pronunciations. Like Yorkshire, Irisher, uh, Glouch, Glouchshire, something. <laughs> I don't know, I always, I always suck at pronouncing things. Alright, well. Expiring cost is belief. Yeah, well, I don't really care. How are we doing, anyway? Oh, hey, look. So, besides corner separatists being in favor of independence for France, uh, looks like that patch uh, fixed everything. Good. It was indeed a uh, little patch. I think these guys are still bugged because they uh, spawned before I actually put the patch through. <laughs> Damn. Hmm. Alright, well, one, I'm okay with the new heir to the throne, and I hate to ask, but can I still give in to these guys? Is that a problem? Yeah. Well, I'm glad you've decided to join us in the uh, fight against the French. Welcome aboard, lads. Hey, what? Alright. Okay, so let's see what we can actually salvage here from this uh, this, this army. Like, I'm actually probably just going to consolidate. We have eight regiments of cavalry. Uh, eight and three, three and eight. Oh. Well, alright, I guess we have perhaps just a few too many cavalry. Like, I could probably stand and drop a couple cavalry. Just a thought. Alright. Low fertility will be removed from England. Thank you, events. Aw, oh, yeah. Alright, so we've got 11 and 9. Yep, so that adds up proper. And we're 300. You know, uh... Ooh, well, we will have just enough men to reinforce. Good. We will fully reinforce. Uh, as to whether or not we'll be able to do anything with this full reinforcement, I'm not sure. I mean, it kind of looks bad, because the French do have quite the hell of a doom stack. Yes, no. You don't have to spam that. Thank you. Uh, so that's going to be a bit of a problem. I'm debating if the correct answer is actually we... Because uh, we are at war with... Who are we at war with? Are we with Friesland? We are. I think that might be our entrance point then. Uh, Counterattack in Munster. Alright, so can we get a diplomatic map? I'd actually like to see what we are at war with. Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Interesting. So their troops are actually stuck out of here. Uh, I don't know. Holy Roman Empire passage might let them through. No easy way to really find out. But I think I can abuse that. Because I can definitely control the coast of Hoss Holland here. So... 
Oop. Surprise attack. Alright. Well, this is something. Anyway, where are we? Uh, yeah, sure. Gaining 20 army tradition sounds great. Alright. Let's get everyone on board. Straits of Holland, go. Alright, so now we control this. And we can pretty much march on to Moonster. Alright, when's the next debate? 1496. So we still got a while. Cool. Alright. Fort levels are none. None. Alright. So we just need to march through to Moonster. And actually take this province. Easy. Uh, what's the max we can actually assault a fortress with here? I forget where that is. I, f I found this before. I think it's probably the assault button. But just not allowed right now to see. And, ooh, I can finally get Land of Opportunity. Sounds delightful. Someday I actually plan... Now, why would I do that then? That's, that's actually going to slow down my rate of colonization because I'm pretty certain I need, like, level 7 or is it 8? Yeah, it's 7. For an extra 115 colonial range, gets me another 170. Uh, which would just put me in distance of Eric's Fjord. So, yeah, I screwed that up. I shouldn't have gotten it. Oh, well. We'll worry about that later. Gotta remember not to get any more ideas. Alright, in the meantime. Fucking disease outbreaks. What? <laughs> Yeah. Disease outbreaks on a roll of a natural one, or as we call it in the tabletop world, a critical failure. Alright. Holy shit, there's actually lyrics. I don't know, I recently purchased the music packs. It's like, oh god. What? Alright. So, let's see. Morale is each side by the value of the infamy troops in each army. Yeah. Well, on the plus side, it seems to be the case in which they can't get to me. At least not right now. They're amassing some soldiers, but... Yeah, they'll probably take most of my mainland holdings. I'm not too surprised or broken up about that. That's sort of like, uh oh, that's playing England for you. You're going to lose your mainland holdings. Get used to it. Alright. And here's a question. How many battles? I, I really wish there was a thing, though. Like, at some point in this expansion, I really wish they'd put, like, a... This is how many more battles you'd need to win to actually achieve this war goal. It would make life a little easier. You had a wall breach. Yeah. Um, 5,000 for... Yeah, you know what? I haven't tried an assault this patch. It would be a really dumb idea for me to do it, though. I was like, I really want to try out assaulting. No, I really can't in this stage. It's, it's like, no, that would be a terrible idea. Let's not do stupid things. All right. So France and Austria have gone to war. I guess that helps my cause. Probably going to be a lot of sporadic, weird fighting. I don't know. It looks like Austria probably declared war on Hungary and then France joined in. Things happen. Either way... I need to probably not take a bunch of stuff, though, this war. Alright, that's enough. So now we smack you guys down. Okay, so they can walk through Holy Roman territory. Good to know. Alright. Good, good. We got that. And... Mepin. Unfortunately, this is a coalition war, so occupying the war leader might get us somewhere uh, in terms of trying to force peace, but it doesn't really get us much war score. It's... Yeah, coalition war minus 30 is going to make things rough around here. Don't get me wrong. Level 1, level 1 fort, so pretty easy stuff. Good. Alright, we'll run back around and do that. 
Okay, it just rained. I was going to be mad if that was a river crossing. Alright. Pushing towards superiority slowly as well. Yeah, I'm sure we're losing a bunch of sieges around here. There's not much I can really do to stop them. Alright, I mean, it really is just manpower at this point. But with this, I'm hoping just to drive up war exhaustion for Munster. Because that probably should contribute to, uh, you know, to their willingness to continue fighting. Except it doesn't seem to. Munster's military strength is apparently plus nine. That seems a little ridiculous, but all right. Uh, England is making gains. Occupied and besieged province is only minus four. So they don't actually take a war exhaustion penalty, probably because it's a coalition war, and I'm not sure why, but... Paradox loves to buff coalition wars to, at this point, ridiculous levels. I, I don't mean to really bitch about it. It's just, Jesus Christ, enough already. It, like, the AI is already basically cheating with these things. Like, do we really need them to, uh, you know? Clev's occupied armor. Sure. Well, still can't occupy everything here. Noted. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, no, not happening right now. We would be a lot closer to peace now. It'd be like 2432. Like, it would be reasonable to get peace soon if it wasn't for that minus 30 penalty apparently added. Alright. When this war is over, I'm probably going to get to annex some people at least. And we'll need to try and calm down and not go to horrific levels of war. Seriously, I don't think I've been at full manpower this entire game. I don't know, did I start at full manpower? Because maybe then, maybe. Alright, royal marriage increase. Uh, nice. Oh no, our royal marriage with Aragon ended. That's fine. How are things going? Not well. Not well. The French front continues to have vast problems. They're still fighting uh, France, Hungary, and everybody else. Alright. And we're still uh, still trying to occupy up here. I mean, if it pulls off smaller like numbers of troops to come siege stuff over here, that'd be pretty useful. We'll see. Subject is tired of war. Can we spare it? Well, how much war exhaustion does Galicia have? Um, I think it's safely say let them fend for themselves. They'll be fine. But yeah, it seems like uh, the coalition forces number about fifty, sixty thousand, even more than closer to eighty. So it's gonna be a bit of a tricky war. Gonna have to gonna have to be real sneaky, like real sneaky, sneaky. Well, it's nice that Naples has come up here. Alright, so Gilray isn't involved. Holland is, though. Monsu's entered a military alliance. Well, I'm pretty certain East Frizzy isn't calling anybody in, so it doesn't really matter now, does it? Alright, so Portugal will have that. Good. Then just to occupy this region, all we need now is Cleves. Or Clev. Sorry, that's the province name. <laughs> Alright. Good so far. What? I thought this was a level 1 fort. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> level 3 fort? I didn't sign up for this at all. Alright. 33 to 53. We're getting there. We're starting to force things. Within your Fort of Normandy's control. Yep. 
Like at this point, we're forcing change. <clears throat> the thing is, like, can I? I can actually walk through the HRE as well. Really? Too few men to siege the province? Mm. That does, unfortunately, reset siege progress. Okay, so no, I can actually walk through the HRE as well. I wasn't aware of that. I'm always a little fuzzy with HRE mechanics. I rarely actually play that much uh, in Europe in that. Yeah. Antwerpen. How are we... Now hang on a second. Oh, that's not how that works at all. <laughs> I'm pretty certain that's not how that works. I can almost confidently say that, in fact. Alright. Um, reinforce speed, maybe. Not really going to help, though. Uh, diplomatic reputation plus one. How much money do we really have to work with? Yeah, alright. Let's hire some advisors, I guess. I mean, 10% extra tax is going to be pretty beneficial. Holy shit, we've got four leaders. Well, you can die. And you can go die. Boom. The Emperor's acting in imperial reform. Whoops. Apparently didn't notice that I had a pile of leaders that I wasn't using. Pay more attention to that. The right thing to do here is abandon the siege to aid them. Like, without question. But that's apparently just heated this up a bit. Thirty seven to forty nine. Yeah, no, this is... Calais is now controlled by Cologne. Okay, that's fine. Really? That's that's the place you chose to retreat to? Okay, I guess. Sure. Probably if you could get out of that, that'd be great. Come on. Apparently, my land movement here is blocked by a hostile fort into the coast of Holland. We ended up losing. Uh, did we get wiped? Yeah, we got bullshit wiped by a second stack, apparently. The fuck? Well, that sucks. All right. All right. Not good. I don't know why we had a second battle of Ghent. There shouldn't have been any uh, second battling at all. It's... Because... All right, I guess. Weird. Uh, this is proving to be a tough, long war, unfortunately. And, you know... It's, this is ridiculous. 14 war exhaustion. No, no, we're fine to continue this war. Yeah, coalition war, length of war is minus 11. I think we'll probably be able to, you know, just force out a peace. You know... Uh, like, is, is there some way... Like, how much money can I offer here? Is it, and it would, will it be enough? Wants concessions other than gold. Alright. Well, that's... What concessions do you want? The cancellation of subjects. Nah, uh, alright. You know what? If you don't want any more than me conceding defeat... Fuck it, I'll concede defeat. <laughs> I'm out of here. Wish I'd done this before the Battle of Ghent. <laughs> Losing my whole freaking army. Alright. Deal. 
dealio. I'll walk away from this. You walk away from this, and everybody's happy. <sighs> At least I didn't lose uh, my progress on that. Okay, so where were we? Vlanderin, Vlanderin, and Ghent. Probably could stand to get some core going. Uh, uh huh. All right, there we go. At least get the work on the core started right away. And immediately. Oh, 100, 189. God damn it. <laughs> Uh, what about you? Alright. Well, okay, so we, we can annex them both if we uh, just improve their opinion of us slightly. Yeah, to work. Gotta get the opinions up there. Oh, yeah, no diplomats to send, okay. Navarro has cancelled their military access, right? Really? They're suddenly hostile. That's strange, but okay. <laughs> that just makes no sense. We'll deal with it, though. Uh, the Cornish Separatists. And Norman Separatists. Well, at least some of them are fixed. Bugs will be bugs. Independence for France. Alright, maybe not entirely. Cedasturius and Vlandervin to France. I really don't think they'd actually want that. Anyway. For now, though, thank you everybody for watching. This has been your lovely, lovely host, Galvin. Signing off.